Two, sir. Two, sir. Welcome to the grave. I will have vengeance. Do you know what time it is? It's that girl Tyson time. I just got home from the gym, that's why I'm all rosy cheeked. Good thing this isn't smell vision I go to an all-female gym. It always surprises me how much snatch and breasts I get to see there. People don't seem to care. They just whip those puppies off and it's just bare ass. Mounds of hair. And I just don't really know what to do with myself. I mean, of course I make a conscious effort to look away, but it's sort of like a car accident and my eyes just keep straying over. So enough about the gym. On Sunday, I went for a bike ride with my friend and we went out to Poker Quitlam and we rode around this Colony Farms area. It's about a 25k bike ride. So I'm going to show you some of that footage right now, so enjoy. This is me on the bike ride. I'm pretty sure vlogging during riding a bike is probably dangerous. But I'm a rebel like that. I like to live on the edge. Yep, my bike's the pink one. You would be correct in that assumption. There's Jay, he's a slowpoke. That's Nick and Ryan in all their exquisite glory. And they're slow as can be. So there's a reason they call it beautiful British Columbia, right? Nothing came in the mail. Why didn't anything come in the mail? I don't know, guys. Why didn't anything come in the mail? Hmm? If you don't send me anything, I can't vlog about it. So send me sweets, send me treats, send me letters, send me love notes, send me cool tweets. I will freaking vlog about it. I promise. I'm gonna launch into my fabulous finds because they are important. The first one is something that I found on my bike ride and I'm going to cut that in right here. You see this boat? It has teeth and a little eye pointed on it like it's a little shark. Oh, so awesome. The second one. Last week I tweeted an article about how Johnny Depp, while filming Pirates of the Caribbean in England, stopped by an elementary school because a girl wrote, her, wrote him a letter. Well, not him. They wrote Jack Sparrow a letter. He went into the classroom because she wanted to stage a mutiny. I've always liked Johnny Depp, especially in his crybaby days in 21 Jump Street. I love Edward Scissorhands, Sweeney Todd, Sleepy Hollow, The Corpse Bride, Willy Wonka. It's sort of gotten to a point where I wonder, is there anything that man can't do? And just the simple fact that he showed up at this little girl's school because she wrote to him kind of just blows my mind, you know? So I am a huge Johnny Depp fan and I am going to splice in this fabulous find and it's a little song and I think you'll enjoy it. Johnny Depp, you're deep I like to watch you when you sleep And smell the shit in which you slept Johnny Depp Johnny Depp, you're hip I like to bite your lower lip and scrunch your Edward Susan hair, Johnny Bear. You got tattoos, one said, one known, I know. But you broke up with her, and now it just says, why no? Oh, Johnny Depp, you're cruel, you're the harbinger of drool. Johnny Dirt John A John B John C John D Johnny You like girls with foreign accents Tiny waists I'm not a waif But I could love you more than he would Probably Johnny Depp, you're the bomb If you come to meet my mom And cry a single salty tear Johnny dear John A John B John C John D Johnny This week on my friend Noelle Pierce's blog she has a feature, which I have already talked about, called Feast Your Eyes Friday, and this week she is featuring Johnny Depp. So I recommend that you go on over there and take a look, because I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So are you ready for the weird crap around my house? This dirty movies book. 
I don't really remember where I picked it up from, but basically it's the rundown of the stag film from 1915 to 1970. Now the pictures are grainy, and there's so much hair in this that you wouldn't believe. It actually illustrated nostalgic history of dirty movies. And this is just some crap I have kicking around my house. This year is the 25th anniversary of Back to the Future! Now if you don't know what Back to the Future is, for you. For those of you who don't know, Michael J. Fox, who stars in the Back to the Future movies, is Canadian. So as we wrap things up with the Urban Dictionary, our first term is going to touch on Back to the Future. And that term is hoverboard money. This is when you're so grossly rich that you have enough money to just basically pay somebody to invent whatever you want. Now hoverboards, of course, were featured in Back to the Future 2 when he goes to the future. You know, I kind of find that Crispin Glover attractive. He's in the Back to the Future movies too, and he's a little nerdy, but you know what? I even find him attractive in Willard. And that's how we wrap up vlogs, TL Tyson style. I just wanted to say that everyone who comments, subscribes, passes it along, retweets and shares it, you're in my heart, and I'll love you forever, and I'll see you all next week for That Girl Tyson. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. And touch your Edward Scissor hair, Johnny Bear.